Here's a cheat sheet of the most used CLI commands on my FortiGate. Coming up. All right, so let's start. The first command is get router info. Now, if you're playing with routing on your FortiGate, then you probably think that the next comes routing table and show the database or all. No, we're using now the routing table indeed but we're using details now if you use details you can look for a specific destination and see which routes leads to it so if i'll use the default route which is 0000, and press enter you will see that the route that is configured uh, for the default route is actually our static route which is at 192.168.1.1, that's the gateway, and it is on port 1 with a distance of 10. All right, for our second cheat sheet, if you need to know which IPs are configured on different interfaces, you can do that on in many ways. One of them is the Diag IP address list. And here you get all the IPs that are configured on the different interfaces on port one, port two. Now we have seen uh, routes, we have seen the different interfaces with their IPs. Now let's look at this session. What is going on on your 40, 48 in terms of session? So for that, there are dozens of commands. Let's use the get system session list and doing so you will see the different sessions that are happening on your 40 gig. Now if you look to uh, have an overview of system performance and how resources are utilized on your 40 gig, again there are different commands that allows you to do so. You can be very granular and look at the different processes using the diagsys stop. There's one command which I'm not sure that it, it is used often, which allows you to see the system performance. And that is the get system performance status. Now, if you use that command, you will see the different utilization. That is how CPU is used in user processes in system processes, how memory is being divided, how much total memory do you have, how much is allocated to your cache, how much is free, how many sessions are happening right now, and so on. The next command is the execute update now. The execute update now actually forces your FortiGate to update its antivirus and IPS databases. So if you're wondering if you're having the uh, last updated database and you're not sure or you're, you're configured to get it via push method, use the execute update now. All right, the next command is the execute ping. Now, you can use ping with ping options and if you press question mark, you will see all the different options. You can change the uh, data size, you can change the interval, you can change the count of the packets, you can change the interface so you can actually send ping from different interfaces on your FortiGate. So play around with that. Now, following the ping command, there's another um, troubleshooting uh, command that you can also use, which is the trace route. Now, that's the same trace route as you probably know from your Windows machine or other platforms. You can track the different hopes uh, to your destination and see where your packets are actually dropped, on which router your packets are actually dropped. Another great command is the Dyag Sniffer packet. Now the Dyag Sniffer packet is actually TCP dump on your command line. So if you've ever used Wireshark to look at the packets, at the raw detail, and understand if ARP is being sent, if ICMP is getting back, use Dyag Sniffer packet. You can use it with different filters to diff with, you can use it with different filters and with different verbosity levels.